grandmother who says she cooks with cannabis to ease her depression has been found guilty of growing and possessing the drug. More on that, more on the day's news. My grandmother smoked a pipe. There was nothing special about it, just a regular brown pipe. A Dr. Grabo, I believe. She sat and sipped and talked. My grandmother was a talker, only not when people were around. She had a mental health disorder. So if I tell you she said something, you're simply going to have to take my word for it. Like many grandmothers of today, my grandmother raised not only her three children, she raised me too. I'm Nathan, my grandmother's first male grandchild. She claimed to have been there when I was born. This, my auntie confirms, is true. Other things will have to take on good faith. I had been gone for a while, chasing my dreams, growing up, the various things young men do when they leave home for the first time. When I came back to town, my auntie gave me a shoebox of things that belonged to her mother, Jane, my grandmother. It turns out Jane and some other women had gone on a ski trip and disappeared in the North Carolina mountains. She was last seen purchasing a bagel at a local bakery. Then she was gone, dropped off the face of the earth. I took the box which my auntie had given me home. As I opened it, the aroma of tobacco, spearmint, and cannabis drifted out. These were the last belongings of my grandmother some postcards, a half-used pack of double mint gum, a pack of rolling papers, a couple of 25-cent postage stamps, and her pipe. I had never seen a woman smoke a pipe until I saw her do it. I haven't seen one since. I remember grandmother always talking to me about medical marijuana, as she called it. At the time, I thought she was a little crazy. She would talk to everyone. It got to be a bit embarrassing. She would hand out petitions and flyers to people everywhere she went. I just knew she was going to get busted one day. She never did. She would have long talks with me. She would say she hoped she lived long enough to see marijuana re-legalized. She would sit in her rocking chair with that pipe always nearby. When she'd had enough medication, she'd pipe up, so to speak saying, they've got gay marriage, gay folk in the military, clone dogs for Christ's sake. When are people going to leave God's little plant alone? I smiled thinking of her. I picked up her pipe and yep, some of grandmother's medical marijuana was still inside. I took it into my bathroom and put a towel underneath the door. After all, it may be 2032, and 18 other states make medical cannabis available to sick people whose doctors say they should use it, but not Florida. Rest in peace, Grandmother, I thought, as I inhaled the herb. <sighs> We're still working on it.